royal in red. The queen looks stylish in a vibrant ensemble as she attends Sunday church service at Balmoral. The queen looked relaxed as she left to church on the second Sunday of her summer break. The monarch, 93, is in Balmoral, Scotland, and braved the drizzle in order to attend a church service in nearby Craddy Kirk this morning. She donned a red hat and blazer with a silver brooch as she attended the service in the Scottish Highlands, where she is expected to stay for around two months. She stays in a seven-bedroom stone house on her estate, Cray I Gowan Lodge, while Balmoral Castle is open to tourists until August. It is expected that Meghan Markle, who turns 38 today, will join Her Majesty for a low-key celebration in her Scottish castle. The Queen reportedly invited Meghan to visit with baby Archie Harrison, which is thought to be a great honour. It is believed that the Queen aim is to have a quiet chat with her granddaughter-in-law during her visit. Speaking to The Sun, royal expert Phil Dampier said, this might be a good opportunity to have, not an assessment of her, but a quiet chat away from the madding crowds as to how she thinks it is going. I think in quiet moments and quiet walks up by the river the Queen might have a few words of advice for her. I'm sure there must be things where she perhaps thinks things could be done better, so I'm sure she would give her some advice, especially if she asks for it. The expert added that Charles, Camilla and the Queen are very fond of Meghan, and find her engaging and intelligent. And Balmoral Castle will definitely see its fair share of entertainment this summer with a reported infestation of bats. The Queen, in a bid to entertain herself, reportedly walks around with her servants as they try to catch the pests. Speaking to Fabulous Digital, royal editor Adam Hellicker said, When I checked last summer there were bats still there. They can't get rid of them. Lots of the servants want to get rid of them as they defecate all over the place. They are a protected species so they can't move them. You can't move bats when it's their habitat. He added that he is told the Queen shouts encouragement but no longer actively participates in the catching of the bats. The Queen is expanding her workforce and is currently searching for an individual to oversee her London residence, Buckingham Palace. The role of property project manager requires an organizational whiz who will need to ensure all activities for ongoing projects at Buckingham Palace are managed to schedule budget and to the highest standards. It also involves appointing contractors and scheduling work within the royal estate. The job comes with a generous salary of between £40,000 and £50,000 a year, dependent on experience, and 37.5 hours working week from Monday to Friday. According to the job post on the royal household, the ideal applicant will have a wealth of project management experience ideally gained within historic occupied buildings, and be digitally savvy with lots of initiative and strong analytical skills to work within the Privy Purse and Treasurer's Office. The job post reads, every day, like every project, will be different. A vital interface, working closely with colleagues and contractors, you'll ensure your projects consider the needs of a diverse range of internal stakeholders. These are busy working buildings. Exceptional communication and planning will therefore be critical so that our calendar of events and operations can continue. And although our processes and ways of working are well established, there is always room for improvement. It continues, with each new project, you'll have exceptional opportunities to grow your own career. We don't stand still here, and your ideas will make an impact at the heart of our world-famous institution. But you had better be quick as the last day to apply for the role is 4th of August. James Upshur, who has worked for the royal household, has offered some top tips to help your application stand out from the crowd. He advises to be brief, he said, keep your language tied to the job description, answer the points they have asked for and add what makes you special, but don't overdo it. But the golden rule according to James is to never utter the words, I have always dreamed of working for the royal family. He adds, of course, you should have a line mentioning your great respect for the institution, but play this one very cool to stay out of the no-pile.